Hi everybody, I want to show you how to insert the symbols pi and pi hat in your documents and also how to make subscripts so that you can make hypotheses look like h sub zero the way they're supposed to. It's important that you present yourself well when you're trying to communicate ideas and that goes for statistical ideas as well. So lest you think these things are not important, they are. It influences the way people think about your work, not the least of which is your teacher, me. So let's get started. If you're in a Microsoft Word document and uh, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it with a Google Doc in just a minute. If you're working with a Microsoft Word document and you want to make the hypothesis, then what you do, let me um, first make this a little, blow this up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Um, I'm going to type H, 0, and the colon for the hypothesis that I want to make. I'm going to go back and highlight only the 0, which I want to be a subscript, and in the font menu there's an option that says make it a subscript. So look what happens now. Now I've got the zero. Okay, now I know that the next thing is that I want pi to be equal to something. So I'm going to choose insert symbols. In the symbol menu somewhere you can find the value of pi. Mine's not coming up right now, but there's more symbols than this. And there's pi right there for me. Pi insert close. Now I've got pi equals say 0.90 and there's a null hypothesis for me looking the way it's supposed to. One other thing I want to show you is that sometimes you need to put a hat on top of pi and in Microsoft Word if you're in the insert tab choose insert equation um, in the accent menu click the upper right hand corner is a box with a hat on it so I want to put um, the cursor then in the box and now I want to put the pi inside of that. So instead of going back to the insert menu, I'm already in the equation menu. So from here, with all these symbols, I'm just going to um, click and look for the pi. And now I've got pi hat. Now notice the box that's around it because it's in equation mode. If I want to get out of that, I just use the right arrow key. And then I can space equals 9 divided by 213 equals, and I don't know what that proportion is, but Anyway, so I have the opportunity to write pi hat and put that in my documents. Okay, so that's important that you do that. Now, uh, I said I would show you how to do it for Google Docs as well. So here's a Google Doc, h0, whoops, h0 colon. So I'm going to go back and highlight the zero again. And in the uh, tabs at the top, I believe it's in the um, format subscript. So now I've got that. What about the pi? Well, the equation um, editor is different in Google Docs than it is in um, Microsoft Word, but it's, it's a little bit harder to use because you have to remember certain kinds of commands, but it's still possible. Insert, equation, and then I have to tell Google Docs what to insert. So I'm going to use the backslash and then just type pi, and then when I hit space, notice what it does. It changes it. Again, notice the box around it though. If I don't want that there, I use the arrow keys to get out of it. And now I can write the rest of, whoops, now I can write the rest of my um, hypothesis. Now, what if I want a pi hat? Insert equation. And now again, I have to give it the command. So the first thing I do is I type backslash wide hat. And notice that it's italicized. When I push the space, it's going to give me a box that looks like the one that I had in the Microsoft Word document. Before I do anything else now, I'm going to push backspace, or I'm sorry, backslash, pi for pi again, space, and notice that now I have a pi hat. And I can type the rest of this stuff that I had like I was doing before. So that's how you do it. Of course, when you're finished with this, you know that you're going to um, download this file as a Microsoft Word document. And once it does, it's going to put everything exactly the way you want it to be. There it is in the Word document. So it looks the same as it did when I did it originally in the Word document. That's it. Not very hard. If you have any questions, let me know.